my hair is crazy and greasy today but I wanted to take you guys through a little bit of the behind the scenes of a literally very small business uh, run by one person. So I have been running my polymer clay business for four or five months now and I've had about 60 sales. 21 of them were from a market. So yeah, we're very, very, very small scale. But I wanted to come on here and give you guys a little background on how I do that and how I fit it around my nine to five job. So I shipped out a bunch of orders yesterday. And when I say a bunch, I mean like four, uh, which is a lot for us, a lot for the small business. Um, so I shipped out four yesterday that I did over the weekend. Today is Tuesday and I just got in a new order for a cat. Here he is, so cute. Um, so I'm just gonna take you through the process of how I make one of my custom pets. So the first thing we need to do is sketch out the pet. Um, so I'm gonna get my iPad and we're gonna sketch a rough guideline of the cat, um, just so I know the markings and what sort of features I wanna put in there. So I start with screenshots of the cat. So just zooming in a little bit here for you. Um, this is my rough plan. And there's some better pictures of Jacques. Um, so yeah. So now what I'll do, because it does take me a little while to actually sculpt them, um, I have to do that after work. I'll sketch them out during my lunch break and then I will model them after work. And if I can get them into the oven and baked and then any paint that I need to paint on it and glaze it in the same day, then that's a really good day. Uh, usually that's only on the weekends though, so I will most likely model today, maybe bake it, and then tomorrow I have a work Christmas party, which is super exciting. Um, so I won't be able to finish this until Thursday, which is slightly annoying because I do want to get it out early for Christmas. It is the 12th of December. Um, they are in the UK though, and I am UK based, so it should be fine, uh, but I just like to get things out early as possible. Literally so much rain out there jesus looking forward to sculpting later Ooh, so it's now half five and it is literally pitch black outside um so that's great okay so i am showered as you can tell in my christmas pajamas feeling a bit better um yeah we're gonna start sculpting and we did get another order um Thank you so much, Cameron. Uh, two little doggies, which I'll show you now. So we have, I've just drawn on the same thing here. So we have Eddie here, who is completely black. Um, so cute. So the question we're gonna have to ask here is, do we do black features on the black dog? Um, sometimes you can't really see them, or do we do white features, which sometimes looks a little bit creepy? We'll figure that out as we do it. And then we have Jeannie here, which is a little pug, badly um, drawn out here. I'm just waiting for confirmation on the tail, um, but we'll do that. Let's get all our clay out and uh, get prepped. So I work on a like ceramic tile, I uh, just find it easier. And let's see what colors. need so we need white we need black we need this dark brown and we need the light brown this one oh the blue let's get the blue out because for jack's colorings i think that will look better painted on because um, it's slightly more detailed whereas dogs I find the patterns are so straightforward 
but it's better to do it in clay. Okay, so my phone died. Um, but let's have a look here. Is that going to focus? Terrifying. I don't think I like the white. The black on black though, that's super cute. This is really horrible lighting. I am so sorry. But the black on black, I do like. I've given them both massive fluffy tails like the picture i am actually going to bake it all now because what is it it's now quarter to eight i started at six so it's been a little bit uh but i'm gonna bake them all bacon all finished look at them beautiful So I'm probably going to paint and glaze tomorrow. I just need to paint the cat um, and then glaze all of them and then get them sent out because my parents are watching the sewing bee and I want to watch that and it's quite late now. It's at like half eight, which I'm sure isn't late to you guys, but I go to sleep at like 10. <laughs> so this is late for me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. It's almost half eight, and if you can tell, I've just woken up. Um, okay, thank you, calendar. I start work at nine, so I've got a bit of time to paint the little kitty cat. So cute! Because I need it to dry fully before I glaze it, and I'm hoping to glaze. Uh, during my lunch break today, I've got my Atomel. I can't eat this early, so I usually like have breakfast as a small break um, after I start work. You know, when you wake up really early and you just feel sick, that's me. I use the tiniest little paintbrush ever, ever, ever. Okay, so now I need these two to dry. You're gonna be able to see that. There we are. Little kitty cat. Much better eyes here. Still not like super obvious, but more obvious and less creepy. It's now three minutes to nine. I don't know what she is doing there in the background, making a little bed. So I'm gonna do some work and then I will see you in a bit for glazing. She did make herself a little bed. Hey. <laughs> You're funny. Do you want to be tucked in?
So I put them in here to set, basically. I've popped them by the window just to finish off and keep curing. Um, but they're pretty much set at the moment. I've also made myself some actual lunch for my lunch break. I am pretty much dressed for my Christmas do now. Um, I've put in my little penguin earrings that I made, which I think are cute. And my mum got me this Christmas jumper and they want us to wear Christmas jumpers, so Santa Claus. There we go. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how dry the charms are now, the pets. So I'm going to... Um, assemble them and then I think I will pack them tomorrow morning but I'll get the packaging ready just so I can let them sit out for a little bit longer but let's assemble these together so I need to restock on a couple of different colors of these um and let's see because I've got uh, two blacks perfect two blacks for Eddie and what else have we got I need a cute one for the cat. Pink is always cute. And does this red suit? Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Just check if there's anything better. No, I need to get more browns of these. Um, and then I have little coloured loopy bits. So I put the uh, tissue paper in boxes and then the little charms in, but again, I'll leave them out for a bit. Uh, let me write my thank you note. So I actually packed uh, the orders already because my sister was going to go out today um, to the post office. So I was like, well, they're ready. So there you go. I gave them to her to take to the post office. So they are shipped out today, which is the 13th of December. Um, so that's good. I did Cameron's in the day. Great. So I think that's pretty good. I think they came out really well and I think it was a pretty good couple of days. I don't really know what to say now so yeah thank you so much for watching uh i know it probably wasn't that interesting but it's a nice insight into a literally tiny small small business uh run by one person and how that's going um and it's going well so yeah i will see you in the next video